The Palo Alto Certified Network Security Administrator is a great certification if you're looking to get started as a network security engineer. If you want to know all about the exam, the blueprint, the study resources, etc., then make sure you watch this video till the very end. How's it going guys and welcome to another video. First things first, I really appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing to the channel. Our subscribers are increasing, the views are increasing, so I'm really grateful and thankful to everyone. If you're watching this video and aren't a subscriber of this channel, I would really like if you can hit the subscribe button, drop a like and also comment what you think about the different types of videos that I make, whether you find the content insightful, you have any feedback, etc. Do let me know and I'll try my best to better the quality of the videos. Coming straight into today's topic, which is the PCNSA. The PCNSA is offered by a vendor called Palo Alto, which is a big time player when it comes to network security, specifically with their next generation firewalls. Palo Alto's firewalls are among the best in the business. And at whichever organizations have worked so far in a network security role, these firewalls are consistent in their environments. Hence, I'll always be a strong advocate of learning Palo Alto as a technology, especially if you're looking to get very far in the industry as a network security engineer. Just like many other vendors out there, Palo Alto also offers certification exams and they have different tracks of these certification exams, out of which, the PCNSA, also called as the Palo Alto Certified Network Security Administrator, is one of their beginner associate level certifications. Hence, if you're looking to get started in the industry, then this certification is very beneficial for you. Reason being, it educates you about firewalls, about Palo Alto, which is one of the leading vendors when it comes to network security. So it's a no brainer to not do the certification. This is one of the certifications that I hold and I can vouch very strongly that it did help me get a couple of job opportunities as well. So first, let's look at what to expect from the syllabus of this exam. The PCNSA covers many basic beginner level next generation firewall topics. Things such as the management of these firewalls, management interfaces, the different types of data interfaces, L2 interfaces, L3 interfaces, what are virtual wires, tap interfaces, all about the different types of users that you can create on the firewall, their admin rights, etc. You'll also learn about security policies, the different types of security rule bases, example, interzone policies, intrazone policies, app ID, um, EDLs, uh, user ID, etc. Hence, it's a great course if you're looking to touch upon the very basics of Palo Alto firewalls. The actual blueprint for this exam is going to be on the screen right now. So you can check what are the different domains and what weightage each domain has on the exam. The link to the syllabus is going to be in the description of this video. So you can pause the video, check the syllabus out. You can even download it. It's available for free and you can see what exactly to expect from the course contents of this exam. Let's look at the format of this exam. So the PCNSA consists of about 50 questions and you get 80 minutes to complete these 50 questions and the total pass percentage is around the 70% mark. The good thing about this exam is that you can also take it from home, unlike some of the other certifications where you've got to book a slot at a test center. Let's look at the resources you need to follow if you want to clear this exam. The best resource is the study guide, which again is available for free on Palo Alto's website. The link is going to be in the description so you can go check that out. Download the study guide and you make sure that you read it at least two to three times to get a hang of what exactly the course contents are for this exam. Speaking about the main study resource and that is practice hands-on labs. Now I just took about seven days to read the study guide completely and I took the exam. So roughly you can say seven to ten days of prep helped me clear this exam. But the thing that worked in my favor was that I had experience working with Palo Alto for about five to six months before that. Therefore, I can strongly vouch that if you have good hands-on knowledge and experience with Palo Alto next-gen firewalls, then this exam is going to be very easy for you. Hence, as part of your prep for this certification, please ensure that you practice a lot of labs fire up your own Palo Alto firewalls, try the different interface configurations, um, try connecting it to Panorama, pushing policies from Panorama, 
do all of that stuff and get that valuable hands-on experience in there are also some good video libraries out there i always recommend cbt nuggets and they have a good course for the pc nsa as well but from my experience you don't really need to subscribe to cbt nuggets for this course and there are plenty of free youtube courses as well which are about eight or nine hours long which should be enough to get you through the prep for this exam with palo alto they have red education as one of their official training partners so if you can you can also do the edu 210 training course with red education which is usually a bit pricey but if the organization you're working for does have any tie-ups or partnerships with palo alto or red education then you can potentially get them to pay for your training and as part of completing the edu 2110 training with red education you then get the free certification voucher for this exam which otherwise costs you around 155 us dollars but hey i can tell you out of experience if you read the study guide you practice some hands-on labs for palo alto and potentially if you watch any video course just to clear any doubts or prepare yourself from a certification exam perspective that should be enough to get you through this exam. My experience from the day of the exam is that there were a few questions, in fact, a fair few number of questions that were quite tricky. And um, I remember that I hadn't come across them either in the study guide or even with my working experience with Palo Alto. But I think what will work in your favor is the theory of elimination. So you try and land at the best possible answer and eliminate the options that basically don't seem right for that question. So you will have a good, I would say five to eight questions on the exam that you would find a little bit tricky, but then use this methodology to get to the right answer. A preparation period of around two to three months should be enough to get you through the PC NSA. And what exactly is at the end, once you complete the certification and let's say you get PC NSA certified. You can then start looking for jobs or working as a network security engineer. And the best part is, is that you have a Palo Alto credential on your resume. And as I said, most organizations trust Palo Alto solutions, and you'll see a lot of Palo Alto firewalls in the industry. So this is a great certification that you can get and the job prospects that come with it are also pretty good. So there you go, guys. This was my review of the PC NSA. As I said, a great network security certification and can help you kickstart your journey as a network security engineer. If you found this video helpful, I'd really like if you hit the like button, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you in the next video.